my channel. If you are new here, I am currently doing vlogmas or like Christmassy videos, trying to do it every week. And this week I thought I would talk about my ski season. I do have pictures and videos from my ski season, however the videos aren't from the winter season that I was on. I went to the same resort last year for the summer as a holiday and so I have lots of videos. So what I'm going to do is throughout the video when I'm talking, maybe put some pictures up of my ski season in the winter and then maybe put some videos in as well or I will leave the videos until the end and put some music with it. I'm not sure yet. Of course I am wearing my absolute favourite jumper in this video and I thought it was rather appropriate. It says ski and then on the wrists it says apri, so apri ski. Um, I love this jumper and thought it was rather appropriate so I thought I would wear it. So if you don't know what a ski season is, it is basically where you can go and work in a ski resort for the winter season. I will link a couple of tour operators in the description below so you can go check them out and if you have any questions then you can just comment down below or ask me on my Instagram, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> you can obviously just apply to individual hotels yourself and just do it that way. However, there are a couple of companies in the UK who do like a ski season job where you can apply and they give you pretty much everything. They set you up with a job and they give you um, like accommodation, ski hire for the entire season, a lift pass for the whole season, food, travel to and from the UK, everything. And you also get paid. So I went to Austria for my ski season in 2014 to 2015 and I loved it. Looking back it was actually like the best job I ever had and basically I worked in a hotel and I worked as front of house staff and what that meant was I was doing waitressing and housekeeping but it was kind of more than just that it was kind of you know, you didn't just clean the rooms, you had to clean the lounge area and you had to sometimes, I personally sometimes helped out with the kids there over Christmas with a little like activity they did or I would call the, the local taxi rank and ask for a taxi for the guests for example. My contract was for 36 hours a week. I would get up at 6am most days, sometimes I would come in at 9 depending on my shift but basically normally I would wake up at 6 and then I would go into work for 7 in the morning and then I would do breakfast service and then I would help tidy away and stuff and then you, you probably know what breakfast service kind of is but it's basically like you're acting as a waitress and you set up the buffet, the breakfast buffet, and you take orders and you clear away plates and all that kind of thing. Then when breakfast service is done, you clear away the buffet, you just kind of clean up, tidy up, you do any kind of wash, well not washing up because we have like a guy that does the pot wash, but you do things like polish cutlery and make sure everything's nice and ready and you will generally make sure that everything is ready for restaurant service in the evening. Then once that is done I had breakfast for about half an hour and then after that I would go and do housekeeping and generally I would be finished around lunchtime. Then I had about a five hour break which meant that I could go skiing if I wanted to. I didn't do that much skiing really which is weird because I went on a ski season you'd think I'd be skiing all the time but I wasn't very good at skiing so <laughs> that's why um, but lots of my friends went skiing like literally every day I personally went to the ice rink because I don't know if you know but I do figure skating so that's where I went and then sometimes I would also take naps or yeah most of the time I would take naps because unfortunately the hours were too much sometimes and the work was quite heavy and quite physical and sometimes you just really needed a nap. So after my five hour break I would then go back into work and I would go in for around six, I would have dinner and then I would do the 
evening service and then I would be finished around half past 10, 11, sometimes midnight and then I'd have to do it all over again the next day. <laughs> I worked for six days a week, I only had one day off a week. Sometimes we would have to do something called a day in shift which means that you start from around 9 or 10 in the morning and finish at 5 p.m. and you basically do you do housekeeping but it's more you do cleaning of the restaurant and the lounge and all public spaces and then you set up the restaurant and things and you then do afternoon tea where the chef would have prepared a cake that morning and you have to put that out with some soup because when the guests come back from a long day of skiing they aren't that hungry for dinner yet but it's kind of a little bit too long to wait for dinner so they want a snack so we provided cake and soup for them so that was what I had to do sometimes and then I would set up the restaurant for the evening service and then we would have dinner and then I could go home but that was only once a week mainly it was split shift so I'd work from 6am to sort of lunchtime and then sort of 6pm till midnight it was long <laughs> and it was very tiring I have to admit but generally the work was quite good it was enjoyable um, the guests were very friendly, the people that I worked with were quite nice, I met some friends, so overall it wasn't too bad and obviously you're in a ski resort and you're in the mountains and like you can't really complain. <laughs> with my accommodation I didn't live in the hotel for this particular hotel that I worked at. Some of them are different where they allow you to stay in the hotel but for me I had to walk about a 10 to 15 minute walk each day to work and the accommodation was in this chalet it was very rickety and old <laughs> and cold but it worked it didn't have internet but it was enough for what we needed we weren't really there that much because obviously we were working or on the slopes so generally my ski season was really great and I really enjoyed it and I'm so glad that I did it because it's such a unique experience that even even now five years later I still talk about and it's like a kind of talking point in my interviews and things like that so it's quite unique and quite special and if you want to know how I applied I basically applied in the summer so if you want to do a winter season next year because obviously you can't really do it this year because it's kind of started already what you can do is apply in the summer before you go if you want to apply for the 2020 to 21 winter season you have to apply in summer 2020. You also don't have to be a good skier to do a ski season unless you are applying for like a ski guide role then you don't have to be able to ski. You get lessons at the beginning of the season so overall I think it's a great experience and I would honestly recommend anyone who wants to do a ski season like if you're thinking about doing a ski season but you're not too sure do it! Do it! <laughs> because it is the most amazing experience that you will ever have and it's so, I feel like it's quite, as I said, quite unique and something that you will never forget and it's something that you can put on your CV as well that makes you stand out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video sparked your interest in doing a ski season and if you have any other questions then please feel free to comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye!